So hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the new Microsoft Outlook 2024. And I know some of you still loves and really likes the old Outlook. I may be one of them, but for this video, I'm gonna make you learn how to like the new Outlook. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is how the user interface looks like. This is much more modern, right? And to enable this one, for example, you're having a hard time on going to the new Outlook from the old Outlook. With a simple click of a button or toggle of a button, you can now go to the Outlook on this option right here, the one I'm showing on the upper right section. Just toggle this one on and off, you can go back from the new one and the old one. And now once we're here, a brief introduction. If you want to make sure that you're familiar in how it looks like, for example, everything here looks like new, right? So I'm gonna try my best and give you the features on how to make it more familiar regarding the new versus the old outlook. So the first thing you wanna do is look for this arrow, the arrow down icon on the lower or rather upper right and click on the drag down. So at default, it will should look like this. Basically, when you open the new outlook, it should look like this, right? And now if you want to go back to the older looking outlook, go back to the classic ribbon. Basically, we have changed the layout, making much more looking at the older one, right? And next one, let's talk about this focus and versus other groups. Now, by default, this will be enabled. Now, the difference for this is others are the spam messages you get or spam emails you get from companies that you visit to the websites. And focus are basically the more important emails you get in daily basis. Now, for example, you want them all together in one huge inbox. To do that one, simply go to view, go to view settings, and with that one, you'll see it at the top front under layout, focus, and inbox. Make sure you click on done sort my messages and click on save. And with that being said, you have now one full inbox power. But for me, I really love the focus and other, so I'm gonna put it back. Basically, if you want to put it back, just do this thing that I'm doing right now. And we have it back on the other and focused. So next up, let's talk about the density. Now, when I say density, make sure you're on the view section. You'll have this option for the ribbon. You have simplified and classic, right? Basically, they're the same thing. For the folder panel, you can adjust it. Reading panel is right there. My day is right here. If you want to show it right there, you're going to have an option to make it shown. But basically, it's currently being hide by default. Anyway, for the density, here it is. We're gonna have three options. As of now, we have the cozy. It's much more comfortable looking. If you choose roomy, it's a much more detailed. And if you want, of course, compact, for all of the minimalist uh, persons out there, this is for you. But for me, I'm gonna go with cozy. So now we have just made that look more familiar. We have the old ribbon. We have removed that one. Let me just retain this one, okay? Just for the sake of the discussion, because my next feature will build on this. But if you want the all-in box, the one earlier, the method, just do with that one. Anyway, right now it's familiar, making sure it looks like the older Outlook. And now let's move on with the advanced features of Microsoft Outlook for the free version of the new Outlook 2024. Anyway, with this one, let's talk about pinning emails or email organization. As you can see right here, by default, you can see the thumbtack logo, right? For example, this one is grayed out. If I click on the thumbtack, it will put it up at the top of my list. As you can see right here, I have two now. Basically, if I remove one by understanding, it will be removed on the top of my list. Now, this is helpful to make sure what are the urgents. For example, I'm going to have no or I will know which to check first or which to... um. Make sure that you check on them from time to time. Now I'm going to make sure I'm going to add five so you can see the difference. And now once I open my Outlook and I'll see this five, I can check on them on a daily basis or not even a day, half a day, um, every two hours or something like that. And that is pinning emails for you guys. And now let's talk about another organization tools regarding your inbox or email. For example, if you choose one specific email, and if you click on right click on it, you'll see a lot of options, right? You have reply up to save as. But we're missing one feature, which is only available for the Microsoft 365 paid version. However, I'm going to show you how it looks like. 
and basically it should look like this. As you can see right there, it's a direct comparison. In between of copy to folder and mark as read, there should be a categorize option, wherein if you hover your mouse and click on the more options, you're gonna see this one. You're gonna have blue, green, orange, project, and purple category. In a way, the use for this one is making sure you're organized. You're gonna compile the email, for example, for the blue category, you can name the blue category, for example, important, and the green one, um, ignore, something like that. Orange is for work, project is for projects, and purple is for basically family, something like that. This is pretty helpful in organization regarding your emails and inbox. And now let's talk about how to enable the calendar. Basically, you have two options here. One is at the top, right there, and second one is gonna be in here. So the most favorite part for me is gonna be enabling it by the top section. Because if I enable that one, make sure it's open, and I grab one email. Now for the sake of discussion, I'm gonna go with, I think this one, from Flipner. I'm just gonna drag it from my inbox and drag it right there. Easy as that. And you see right there, automatically, it will create an event. Take note, I did not type anything here. I did not add this attachment. This is biotomatic. And with that, you can edit everything here. For example, the time, the time zones, the search for location, the response option, and so much more. Even the description, you can edit it. And now while we're here, let's talk about setting persons in Mythic. For example, since the virtual world has been enabled, ever since the pandemic, we're working from home, or most of us, right? So it's really helpful in Outlook to schedule in-person meetings. And how to enable that one will be here exactly. You're gonna have this option for the search for location by default. Now, if you have the paid subscription, you're gonna have another option here. And I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Let me just open my visual aids here. And there we have it. Basically, this is how it should look like. Entirely identical under the date under the in-person meeting, we're gonna have this event. It's a toggle button wherein your invitees or your team members will know that this exact meeting is not by Zoom or via Google Meet, but an in-person event. Please take note about that one, it's a pretty helpful tool. And basically, those are the things I wanna share with you guys. Now, there are still a lot of features here, for example, the application, the inter integration of Microsoft 365 inside your emails. By default, right now, you don't see anything here, right? You only see reply, reply all, forward, and this options. You can have other reply options here, but this is what we have as of now. Because the paid first subscription for the Microsoft 365 will allow you four more features. I'm going to discuss those once I have the approval regarding the account. Because right now, I'm still waiting for the approval. I already applied it. And I'm going to make a video about it because I don't want you guys to left out. Anyway, as of now, I just hope you're happy with this for the free trial features. Anyway, I'll get back to you. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.